Hello and welcome back everyone to The Powder Toy. And today we have a brand new city map, The Concrete City, made by Ston. Thank thanks Ston, highly appreciate it. We're going to be doing nuclear testing on your city, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> so, we created Unantrium, and we tested it against bunkers. But we have not actually figured out the best way to put it into bomb form, which for something that's highly radioactive is just... I mean, it has to be done. We need to make it into some sort of effective and deadly bomb. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. We're going to try to make a bomb that gets Unantrium and turns it into even more of a dangerous material than it already is. And trust me, it's already pretty dangerous. So how do we eject Unantrium? That's a good question. Unantrium has the interesting property that it is so dense that it'll immediately fall. So we actually need to kind of keep it away from the other uh, elements inside of the bomb. To accomplish this, I'm going to do this. A dual layer bomb, titanium holding pressure on both ends. And then in the first ring, I'm gonna put Unantrium. And in, oh, I forgot to pause. You can notice how quickly Unantrium uh, heats up, which we're going to take advantage of for this. Then on the center, we're going to put Deuterium. We're going to set the, oh shoot, um, set, do I have to do the exclamation part? Yeah, I do. Uh, set life to 100. Uh, set life do ah there we go all right so we've charged up the deuterium a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and put the protons oh not protons we're gonna use neutrons for this um let's go ahead and get our neutrons which should be there they are and there we go we have a completed bomb the neutrons should set up the deuterium which will create insane pressures which will throw everything all over the place and let's go ahead and put walls around this just to give us a little bit more of a chance because I don't want the stuff that flies around to get deleted. All right, three, two, one, bomb goes boom. And actually that may have done the best spread we've gotten on a uh, an Unantrium explosion yet. It really got it out and it's moving fast enough that even though the Unantrium becomes plasma when it's in the air for too long, it looks like a lot of it's going to hit the ground before getting turned into plasma. So now these little particles of Unantrium are doing their thing, releasing a ton of heat onto the environment, and just generally irradiating everything. I'm trying to find the heat display. Apologies. <laughs> Where's the heat display at? So at the top of the buildings, we're hitting 300 degrees, and at the bottom, we're hitting 200 degrees. Alright, so everyone's pretty much cooked, and the funny thing is that the temperature's staying pretty stable just because of the few Unantrium pieces that are still remaining. I think we... Oh, there is a little bit. There's some... I just saw it. Point being, we, we did pretty well. However, I think we could have went bigger. So let's go ahead and get this uh, concept and apply it to a larger scale bomb with more Unantrium. That's the fun part, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the Unantrium, put it in. Go ahead and get our Deuterium, put it in. Go ahead and set the Deuterium to a medium amount of life so that it's a little bit more violent. Let's go ahead and get our Neutrons, toss them in. We don't really need that many to see the reaction. That should do it. And now, let's do take two. Place your bets below. And we- Oh, the amount of an Entram. Ooh, so much of it survived that. A lot of it got converted to plasma, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. We don't want- If it gets converted to plasma before it hits the ground, then we can't get good reaction out of it. That's the only issue. So I'm kind of wondering if it may actually be more effective. This is going to seem kind of dumb. But if I were to cool it down and have the bomb be pretty much frozen to start, 
All right. Frozen bomb. Let's see if it's more effective. The ignition is slower, but notice less of the Unum Trium became plasma, and that allowed more of it to survive and exert. Oh, or did it? That's, it's hard to tell, honestly. I'm, I'm having a hard time compared to last time. You guys can just rewind it and tell. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we already know that an Untrium, on its own, if you give it enough time, it'll uh, do insane amounts of damage on its own. I mean, it is... Oh, it sinks all the way to the bottom. Oh, jeez. I wasn't looking that low before. I wasn't even thinking that low. <laughs> Alright, so if we put a bomb low, I think that's really the best bet. Even a smaller bomb, if it's placed low enough. Um, let's go ahead and try doing a little bit less on the deuterium side of things. Because that's really only needed to create the pressure. And then we go ahead and we do this. Ooh, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. It would have honestly been more effective to just let it blow. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that was not good. That was a bit of a mistake on my end. Um, I've got a new idea, actually. Why do we need deuterium? Can't we just wrap a, like, amount of unum trium inside of titanium and just have the pressure super high? And then, uh, I mean, the Unum Trium will melt it on its own over, yeah, like that, like I'm showing right now. So, technically, if I do this, and then I just get the air tool and I just set this to a super high pressure. I mean, let's go ahead and look at the pressure display. Yeah, so this should heat up really quickly and just, like, escape, right? R really? It's in it? Pressure's at 241. Oh, boy! Um, I was expecting... Oh, it just reacted so quickly because of the pressure. Oh, so we have to work against that, actually. Shoot! It, it just immediately becomes protons when it's under pressure. <laughs> huh. Okay, I didn't really think about that. It doesn't even have time to heat up. Hmm. Jeez. Um. Huh. So we actually want it to... So we want to prevent the pressure from being kept in, so let's switch gears. Instead of using titanium, which blocks all air pressure, let's go ahead and use uh, quartz. Because I think we're just fizzling all of our material before we can actually use it. Let's go ahead and do unum tram like this. Okay, so unum tram like this, and then we'll go ahead and we'll put the deuterium in the center that'll set it off. And then neutrons. Let's see how this does. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. Ah, it held it in again. And the quartz didn't really crumble very well. So let's try this again with something a little bit weaker. I'm getting a little bit nervous using... I don't know, we'll use iron. I mean, at some point, it's gotta work. <laughs> okay, boom. Boom. This is tough. We want pressure, but not too much pressure. Enough pressure to shoot it out, but not enough pressure to just immediately react it. We may have to use, like, a negative pressure <laughs> bomb. And I don't know how we'd make that work. <sighs> oh, that one was pretty effective. That got a lot of the Unum Trium out. Interesting. A negative pressure bomb. Is that a terrible idea, or am I onto something here? If we go ahead and we create a sphere that is just Unum Trium inside, and just... Okay, one moment. And then we do negative pressure... 
super negative pressure. Oh, what is, oh, it's just becoming plasma and murdering itself. Look at that though, that looks really neat. Now we have this like 9,000 degree titanium just falling out of the city. Okay, but if we had done that again, but like smaller, I'm almost, I almost think that would have been super effective, right? Like, call me dumb, but if we had put it like near the city, would that, would that have done something? I don't even know. Let's see. Yeah, look! It just pulls the city in! Oh, that is so neat! In the, the city, obviously, um, it takes a little bit of the heat away and keeps it from murdering itself. Hmm. I'm still gonna say the most effective bomb for an Umtrium is when you put it in the ground. If we put a bomb in the ground with an Umtrium, it I, I honestly don't think any of the city will survive, even with a small one like this. Watch this. This is going to be highly effective. Highly, highly effective, I tell you. The most effective weapon. The greatest weapon. Alrighty. That is, if it doesn't immediately fizzle all of the Unumtrium. Let's see how that goes. It fizzled all the Unantrium, and it didn't even make it out the shell. Okay, maybe just a ball? Okay, okay, um, ugh. Okay, if we do a ball of Unantrium that has negative pressure underground, perhaps, perhaps this is the correct mix the correct ingredients to make the brilliant death cake. Alright. Okay, so that, that certainly did a lot of damage. Actually, it is so hot, I think it's just burnt- Oh! That stone is at 6,000 degrees, and the Unum Trium did make it to the bottom of the map. Wow. Is it just gonna slowly eat away the entire map now? The issue is it doesn't really have that explosive energy. Like, I, I really wanted to see it, like, go BOOM! But, it may just not be what Udumtrium is for. Putting it underground is just so much more effective, and especially if you just put it alone, not even encased in anything. Just like that, and it'll just do its thing. Like, it doesn't really need a bomb. It's just dangerous on its own. So I guess that may be the lesson of today's video. Not everything is best if turned into a bomb. Um, it's hard to find things that aren't better in bomb form, but Unum Trium may just be one of the rare things that just in bomb form is less effective. Uh, obviously I'm sure once I make this uh, modding and stuff public, you guys will find ways to build bombs that are super effective with it, but for now, I, I really think it's better for just, you know, you got a city and you want to make it into a liquid, um, Unantrium may just be the thing. The best. I'm kind of curious, if I just make, like, a line, if you just, oh shoot, if you just put, like, a line of Unantrium under the city, will it just immediately just take the entire thing out? <laughs> it will! The answer is it will, and it'll do it very quickly and efficiently. Wow. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well guys, thank you all for watching. I think next time we may try to make a reactor with this stuff. I mean, it's gotta be possible. Is it is it possible to keep it stable? Like, if I were to just build, like, a container with just a tiny bit of an trim, could I even prevent it? There's got to be a way. Like, there's got to be a way to safely contain the stuff. We may not know it yet, but but it exists. Uh, the issue is it either destroys itself or it escapes. <laughs> like the containment. Well, we'll build a reactor. It'll be good. It'll be good stuff. 
thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Wow, thank you for watching my video. If you want to support me, blah 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 blah. <laughs> no, but just like subscribe, like, comment, you know, all the good stuff. Share the video, share the channel. I'm going to Texas in two days. That's crazy. You know what else is crazy? Me. See you all next time. Peace out. Dab. <laughs> but don't actually dab because that's cringe. I'm probably already in Texas by the time this airs. Crazy.